His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, members of the Royal Family, Speakers of the Representatives and Shura Councils, Ministers and Senior Officials in line with His Majesty the King's constant keenness to meet with everyone in order to achieve the best for the Kingdom and its citizens. His Majesty reviewed the latest regional developments and hailed the GCC Council and Arab League's support of stability in Bahrain and in Saudi Arabia and their condemnation of foreign interference in the region. His Majesty the King highlighted the participation of Bahrain's armed forces in defending the territories of Saudi Arabia as well as the BDF's role alongside Saudi-led Arab coalition forces in defending legitimacy in Yemen. His Majesty hailed the remarkable contribution of Bahraini citizens in the development of the kingdom in various fields. His Majesty reviewed the political and economic challenges facing the region, which require greater efforts, noting that development will remain constant to achieve the best for the kingdom. His Majesty affirmed the unity of Bahraini citizens and their keenness to maintain the Kingdom's achievements and gains. He also affirmed the Kingdom's firm rejection of all foreign interference in any country's domestic affairs. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed honour regarding His Majesty the King's directives and prayed to Allah Almighty for success in serving the Kingdom and its citizens. He also affirmed Bahrain's support for Saudi Arabia to restore legitimacy in Yemen. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa launched today a Marassi Al Bahrain project at Diyar Al Maharak. 
His Royal Highness confirmed the importance of reinforcing development and said tremendous efforts have been made over the past 15 years to diversify non-oil economic sectors that had raised the contribution of the non-oil sector in Bahrain to 80%. This, in turn, had created new opportunities for investment and development, as well as creating jobs that will effectively contribute in dealing with current economic trends. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the international economic situation with the fall in oil prices and the exceptional steps that have been taken to restructure government revenues and spending in order for Bahrain to deal with the current situation. He said that these measures had strengthened the economy's capability to tackle challenges and attract investment in infrastructure and major projects with a value of 32 billion US dollars. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince stressed that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, relies on its people to perform their national responsibilities and effectively participate in developing the future of their homeland, in addition to dealing with all changes and challenges. His Royal Highness said that the positive side of a challenge is that it gives everybody a renewed opportunity for development and progress to create sustainable results saying that the Marasi Al Bahrain project is one of the models aiming to create more integration in the economic system. His Royal Highness looked at a 3D presentation of the project and toured the project's seafront, praising Marasi Al Bahrain housing and commercial options, in addition to its services and facilities. Marasi Al Bahrain is an 865,000 square metre waterfront development located on the north shores of the Master Dia Al Maharak development. The urban project is a unique destination in Bahrain, offering luxury hotels and restaurants, as well as 3,500 high-end residential apartments, all providing waterfront living with fantastic views. Other features include business centres, shopping, leisure and entertainment venues, a cruise terminal, ample open garden areas and a traditional souk. Both the address hotels and resorts and Vida hotels and resorts in Marasi Al Bahrain are integrated within a 190,000 square metre lifestyle mall, offering high-end retail, private residential facilities and a world-class waterfront boardwalk promenade.
The Deputy Prime Minister and President of the Supreme Council for Education and Training, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, received the chairperson and members of the jury of the 2015 UNESCO King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa Prize for the use of ICT in education and the winners of previous editions of the UNESCO King Hamid Award. UNESCO Director General Irina Bokova and Education Minister Dr. Marjid bin Ali Al Naimi also attended the meeting held on the sidelines of the seventh award ceremony of the UNESCO King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa Prize for the use of ICT in education. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak congratulated the laureates on winning the prestigious award. He praised the projects and initiatives that had been approved and selected by the jury and which have enriched the international experience in e learning. He said the UNESCO King Hamid Award has put the kingdom at the heart of UNESCO's goals and efforts to promote universal educational experiences in this regard. The Deputy Prime Minister commended the members of the jury for their accurate objective and professional work. The audience extended sincere thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa for launching the international award, which they said aims to encourage scientific and academic initiatives and projects that serve humanity and pave the way for countries to share creative ideas and innovative projects to serve development and education. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, praised the excellent standard of the competitors in the Bahrain Falcon Hunting Competition. This high standard reflected the strength of the competition, making it more enjoyable and more exciting. His Highness Sheikh Nasser was delighted by the large public attendance at the competition, which reflected its success. His Highness praised the hard work of the competition's organising committee. 33 members of the Representatives' Council filed two official requests today to question the Minister of Energy and the Minister of Finance in line with revisions of Article 65 of the Constitution and Articles 144 to 151 of the Council's Rules of Procedure. The MP said they would like to investigate a number of violations, saying that they want to question the Minister of Energy on the steps taken to redirect oil product subsidies, which caused the sudden rise in petrol prices. They added that the request to question the Minister of Finance was based on his ministry's failure to adopt a successful policy to manage public debt.